Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you a Shopify print on demand store that's currently for sale and it makes 140,000 US dollars profit every year. If you don't know what print on demand is, basically it's a different form of drop shipping. So it works exactly the same way in the fact that you don't see the product, you don't touch the product and the supplier ships it directly to your customer. However, the only difference being is the type of products that you're selling. So obviously with typical stereotypical drop shipping, you're selling physical products like dog beds, dog leads, whatever it may be. However, print on demand is products that are made to demand. So once you get the sale, you issue the order with your supplier and they make, they print the product to demand and then ship it direct to your customer. So the store I want to show you today is called Just Like Bob. Before we jump into it, just some background information. The site age is three years. The average monthly profit is $11,615 and it has a very healthy profit margin of 61%. The asking price currently on the auction is $5,000. However, they have set a reserve of a very significant amount of $400,000 US dollars. I don't think they'll get that much. Typically, when you're valuing a business, it's anywhere between sort of one to two years of the annual profit. Let's take a look at the numbers then, the exciting part. We can see for the most part, like sales are pretty consistent throughout the year. So if we go all the way back to over a year ago to April of 2022, they did a modest amount revenue of about $10,000 with a profit of 4,000. Results have been pretty consistent, like I said, with kind of like a slight increase of anything. And then obviously with a massive spike as you come into the Q4 months with their best month profit wise being November of 2022, just gone of a little bit over $30,000 profit. It. Since then, a natural kind of decrease, which is expected. But even still, the business has returned to pretty profitable operations with February. So just a couple of months ago, doing a revenue of 15000 and a profit of nearly $13,000. So not bad considering if we scroll up to the top, we can see as the business will do a small amount of CS, customer service, as well as just monitoring the accounts. Most of their time is spent on releasing print orders with the suppliers and SEO. So approximately 10 hours per week. Week. I don't know of many professions out there where you can earn $140,000 working just 10 hours per week. So not a bad return on your time invested. What's interesting opportunity wise is there's a huge opportunity for expansion into other countries as they only have marketed towards North of America. So being drop shippers, people who start online businesses, the beauty of a business like this, I will show you how you can pretty much replicate this business in almost any country in the world. And if it works, in North America, the chances are it's going to work wherever you're watching this video from as well. That being said, then what products are they selling? What product is generating this level of sales? So if we jump onto their Shopify store, just like bob.com, if you guys want to go and check them out, feel free to do so and do your own research. They're having an issue with their image at the top here, but if we scroll down, they've got a really nice kind of how does it work. So if you're new to print on demand, essentially this is how it works. So step one is you submit your order by selecting the number of people you want to include in your portrait, um, your chosen back background and upload reference photos. So you just take a selfie of yourself basically. After that, they have artists which will create a draft of your personalized portrait. You'll receive an email link to view and basically sign off the proof, sign off the design. And once you've done that, then you will receive a final high quality version of your artwork through an email link. So they're selling literally just a digital product here. But obviously once you've got that artwork, they are going to bombard you with the upsells of having it printed as well. So we'll actually jump back into the information and show you the average order value is $76. If we head up and if we come back and head it into their best selling product. So this is purely just for the portrait. This is for a digital product. This isn't to have it printed. If you go for one person inside restaurants, you can skip the line for $25, which is quite expensive, um, but simply for a simple portrait, then it's $50. The average is 75, which would lead me to think that the majority of people, well, the majority of people do in fact bump this up to either two people a different backdrop. I think these are all $70 by the looks of it or perhaps even go on to have this printed on a canvas, whatever it may be, and shipped out to them. If, again, we go back to the information, what I want to show you 
is the products and services used. So they use Google Analytics, they use Shopify, and they use Printify. If you want to start your own print on demand business, these are the guys that are kind of leading that space. So if we jump onto the Printify website, um, this is their catalog. These are the sorts of things that you can get printed. So all I've done at the top here is put art. Um, so you can see all the different kind of canvas sizes or image sizes. You can even have things printed onto jackets if you want to start a clothing brand um, or backpacks. You can even have it printed onto a bikini if you want to do that or shoes they literally have endless combinations of print on demand products that you can sell what's also brilliant about this is if you want to go ahead with the artwork if we have a look at the target markets you can find printers that work for printify in all of these countries which allows you to offer local shipping so us to us canada to canada uk to uk so on and so forth which obviously allows you to offer a better service to your customers before we move on just very quickly just 20 to 30 seconds of your time i want to make you aware of the free training I've just got done recording. It's 100% free, won't cost you a single penny. All I ask is for your email address and that is so I can send you this. This is my own personal handpicked selection of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. If you want to get yourself a copy of this and watch a training where I will show you how to build and launch your very own online business and start making sales in less than 21 days. I know that sounds like a bold claim, but trust me, I've been able to help hundreds if not thousands of people do this so make sure you check that training out once you've done watching this video head to the description down below and it will be the first link you see thanks so basically in summary what these guys are doing is they are jumping on the back of the well-known animated tv series which is bob's burgers it's obviously a very popular series people love it they want to get themselves printed into the cartoon so it's almost like they're part of the series they've been in the series and again i think where the majority of their sales come from will probably be gifts. If we just jump back into the sales information, we can see there's a massive spike around Q4, which leads me to believe it's one of those perfect presents that if you have a friend or family member and you're not quite sure what to get them for Christmas, but you know there's a certain particular TV series that they love, you could always get them a portrait in that same style. Two things though, number one, I am not condoning the copying of this business. I would never recommend anybody do any of that. I do these videos purely to give you the ideas so you can put your own spin on it and be unique and be original. You don't have to follow Bob's Burgers. Of course, there's so many different animated series out there that you can use. If we do a simple Google search for 25 greatest anim animated shows of all time, all of these shows probably have a big enough audience for you to have a big enough customer base to make some very significant money from. So it could be SpongeBob SquarePants characters that's aimed towards children, or it could be King of the Hill, I know, which is another popular one. If we go down towards the top, Daria or Futurama, again, a massive, massive TV series popular across the world. And of course, number one, it had to be it, which is The Simpsons. Let's jump back to the Shopify store then. We can see they're charging $50. That's purely just for the digital print. Let's jump onto Fiverr because obviously most people probably won't have the skills watching this video to create an image or put somebody into an image as a certain character so you can go into fiverr and you can pay somebody to do it for you basically so once you get the order on shopify you approach your designer you send them the image they create the image they send it back to you you send it to the customer to have them sign off on it so simple search on fiverr for superhero portrait depending on the quality you want you can obviously look in anywhere between sort of five pounds for a very basic one all the way up to this guy that i found who will do your basic print which is in a similar style to what these guys are doing for 24 pounds what i also want to show you is if we jump onto their social media pages so this is their facebook page 7k followers etc etc however what i want to show you is the fact that they are pushing this website here so what villain would you be let us know so we can add them to our catalog check us out or just like villain be sure to let you know hey everyone big news our new website just like a villain if we jump onto their website just like a villain we can see they are pretty much using the exact well they are using the exact same business model however the theme is different instead of selling portraits in the style of bob's burgers they are selling portraits in the style of different villains so super side super side super side squad joker wanted posters they have their dog with this mug shot which they call a mug shot which i think is a nice approach and obviously they have all these different 
characters from popular TV series, that sort of thing. So with that being said, I think I've shown you everything I wanted to. I've shown you everything behind this business. I've given you the business model, given you the theory behind how you could do it. Now it's up to you to think about the kind of TV series that you watch and that you enjoy, that you will have fun building a business around, approach different designers. And the main thing being basically is just to get started as soon as possible. You don't go to naught to being one of the best overnight. It takes time. But the most important thing is that you do just get started. And over time, you will develop, you will be able to offer a higher quality piece and you will be able to build your business and put it in a position that these guys have been able to do with this. And with that being said, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate all the support on my channel. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, anything I can help you with at all, just post a comment down below. I read every single one, so I will see it and I will, of course, reply to you. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video because I release new ones every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one on Wednesday. Cheers.